Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an outside greenhouse tour. I have two of them. One is right here and the other one is right here. I will be recording sound on my beautiful little mic. It is almost winter. It's not winter. It's barely autumn, but it's almost time to put the plants inside because it's been some pretty cold nights like 10 degrees Celsius, which is a little alarm for me to just take things inside because I don't want anything to freeze. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reveal to you what's in here. There are some things on the floor. Don't look at that. So let me show you. Oh, that's wet. Yeah. Okay, I watered this yesterday, so it's gonna be a little bit drip. Oh, a little bit drippy. Okay, so this is what we are working with. Okay, so here it is. This is the first little compartment on the top floor. As we can see, it's very pretty. And then down here, it just gets sadder and sadder. But down here, some things are dead, true, but also they've been like this for the longest time. So I'm gonna go maybe even from the bottom up because that's just not the best. So before I get into this one, this is my cool greenhouse. We're just gonna show you that one first so this is my other greenhouse there was a lot of things with trips in here that's why uh it's like sad but things are just kind of dead or like not even really growing so i'm just gonna show you that really quickly and then we're gonna get straight to this one hi so this is my other greenhouse and this is where i used to keep like all the plants that had like trips and everything like that so they wouldn't give trips to my other plants in the other greenhouse because i also didn't want to take them inside because like <laughs> then what's the point i mean i have trips inside already but you know i also watered this yesterday but this is my greenhouse right if we take a quick little little look as you can see way emptier than the other one there is just pots on the bottom there's a few plants down here and a few more plants on top here so i'm gonna zoom you out like so and show you how it works so on the bottom here i only have pots plus the only plant I have down here are these tiny um, mammaes philodendrons that are growing in like Lekka. These are like so cute, but I used to have two big plants, so this is kind of like kind of sad realistically. We have a beautiful Adansonii that I need to actually put inside because these are like my best cuttings, anyways, that I have growing like this. Really cool. And then we have a nice root on the bottom. That's very nice. Then we have a dead philodendron pink princess. I can actually take this outside now because it's dead. Um, very sad parlor palms. And I need to clean this up later. We have, oh, this is so cute. So this is my little collection of like little propagations. So this right here is an Epipremnum amplissimum that I have to pot by itself because this is an incredible plant and it's not having its potential in here. So a few little cuttings of Adansonii. And these are subspecies Laniatas. So these are like a really, really cute plants. You maybe saw my video of chopping it up. Really cute, but now it's kind of sad. We have a little Zingonium neon pink, whatever. It's not looking the best. As I said, this greenhouse looks worse than the other one. So just wait for that. Okay, another... Adansonii. Ooh, this is sad. I haven't looked at this for a long time for a reason. This is my Philodendron White Princess. Oh, and you cannot see that it's white unless I do this. And you can like see the speck of white underneath. Honestly, I have left this to kind of die here because I don't care enough. But it's not a beautiful plant. No, I got it on a sale, I think. So it's fine. Ooh. Another Adansonii baby, because why not? And another two Adansonii babies, because why not? It's funny that these are live. A propagation of my Philangenero. You can maybe see there is a growth in here and some roots, which is... It's okay. Nothing crazy. And the last thing down here... Uh, Philodendron Hedraceum Brazil. Y'all can see, not the best looking, but it is Brazil nonetheless. I don't know. I guess I just want to own this plant because 
who doesn't want to have a little Brazil at home. And we're gonna move to our last shelf up here. I'm aware that you can't really see that. Oh, that's better. You can't see that much. But we have, <laughs> surprise, another Adansonia down here. These were supposed to be the best cuttings. And they have some growth of the roots, but nothing major. Oh, but never mind, actually. Starting to look quite good again. I think, I think the pests are starting to not like this weather, actually. Interesting. We have a cute uh, Monstera Deliciosa that I have been growing. Look, look, look. It has a root. So cute. But this is like a, a baby from the same plant um, as the green on green that you will see later. But this one is not variegated, sadly. Okay, another neon Syngonia. This one is bigger. I This one, you know what? It looks okay. It could look way better because some of these leaves are really pretty shades of pink. Oh, wow. You just can't see, right? But we have so many roots. Oh, my God. Okay. We have so sad Hastatum. <laughs> this is realistically probably one of the ugliest Hastatums you will ever see. Look at this. I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't give this for free even because it's so ugly. Then we have two Alocasias, Caprias, as you can see, in Leca. Not happiest plants ever. Maybe this one is still alive, maybe not. But I don't even know. These look these looked okay and now they just plummeted. Okay. <laughs> a cute a little pot of golden pothos, Tordescancia, and some Argerius Kindapsis. Fun stuff. Oh pff. actually I need to show you this. So this Tordescantia, usually they don't root along the stem. But look, <laughs> this is funny. They just rooted all over the stem. That's crazy. They don't do that unless there is like high humidity. So that, yeah. We have in Lekka. Ooh, there's a lot of water in here. Damn. This is a Florida Feldendron. I don't think this even has a growth point. So it's just kind of being here. And the last plant, which is the best looking plant in this entire greenhouse, is this Philodendron Congo. Is it a Congo? Maybe. But it's like just this green one and it looks so cool. But damn, these leaves can get really big and these are like really not. But they just look so cool. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's move to the other greenhouse. This one is much better. So let's go. As I told you, we're not going to worry about the things over here. Because we're going to worry about the things in here. So I'm not going to sit on the floor because it's dirty. So first things first, in the front, we have this. These are little um, rings of fire babies that apparently are propagating. It's like, th there are some pretty cute ones, like this one. This one just has a lot of like white, yellow leaves, you know? All of that fun stuff, but I don't know if these are actually growing. This one looks very variegated. Oh my god, look. I have to do an update on that. I recorded a video on this. Look how cute this is. <gasps> okay, actually, never mind. It's not that bad. We have a sad little alocasia black velvet. As we can see, nothing worth talking about. Then in the back, we have even sadder. <laughs> Philodendrons, Hastatums. Oh my god. This is so ugly. So this is why I'm showing you this is why I'm doing a tour right now, because a lot of things are going to get either propagated or moved very quickly after this inter interview, after this. So, yeah, that's what I'm showing you. Then we have, like, the main... Ooh, this one is also pretty. The main ring of fire. Look! Look, it's pretty. Okay. This one is cute. So then we move on to this tiny two little pots in the front. So this first one used to be a Florida ghost, and then this one is a tiny Anthurium Capri. Um, but it stayed tiny for like half a year, so I don't really know if this is gonna go or not. Then we have, <laughs> surprise, another Ring of Fire. This one is just ugly colors, and this one had thrips, I think. It can still have thrips. It looks, it just looks bad. I don't want to talk about it. 
Oh my god, another Ring of Fire. Could y'all believe it? Oh, oh, variegation. That's new. This one is like a greener version. Nothing crazy, but we have a lot of fires here, okay. Then, this is not actually a Ring of Fire. This, oh, this leaf. This leaf is full of like some pests. Anyways, this is like a little, um, I'm gonna show you the, the mother plant up there. This is some field engine that I don't know the name of. They grow pretty cute. So, I, I keep it, okay. Ooh, a variegated field engine. Prince of Orange. Variegation will be very hard to see, but there is like a little speck on this leaf. Can you maybe see it? There's a little speck on top. It's it's a cute little plant that have been just growing in this for a long time. Nothing insane. I know, that's why this is the bottom part, okay? Okay, we have a little billy, a little billy with some nice roots growing, which is actually really cool because this has just been half dead. Maybe this year it will grow something, who knows? And then in the back we have, ooh, this one has grown a lot. Maybe I should repot this? Maybe not. So this is like a little ficus elastica. Not looking the thickest, the plumpiest, not really. But it's alive and it, it has like sentimental meaning for me. And then there's like a little Edinsonia down here that actually I'm just gonna pull out. I'm just gonna pull it out because it's taking um, the water from the plant that I actually want to grow. Wow, this was a long route. Okay. And then the last thing in here is this box <laughs> of more hostatums. These were my hostatum propagations. And as you can see, they're not doing the best. But yeah, they have just kind of died at some point in the summer and yeah, they're the way they are. Uh, this has to get completely cleaned, but it's gonna get cleaned when I transfer the plants. Because there's no point to do it now, but it's low-key kind of sad. Let me do a little magic trick and put things back inside. So did it work? Yes, it absolutely worked. We're gonna move on to the second one. I'm gonna show you what's going on inside here. So this is my big bucket of Gloriosum. If you wanna tell me that it's ugly, I know, I'm aware, and I will work on it by popping it up when I move it inside. But these leaves are really just kind of, they're just not it, you know? But it has split again. This was one plant. Now it has 30 growth points free and i haven't cut it once that's crazy that's crazy but we're not gonna take care of this right now then we have an amazing plant this one has been growing incredible incredibly well for me this is a begonia look how dark it is this is i'm not that pale it's the light but this is very dark the little begonia that is actually burgundy red on the back but it's like a little blue I don't know, it's some kind of begonia. Really pretty, and the leaves has grown really big and lush, and oh my god, I need to do something with this. But then we have another Biliatier, this one on a moss pole, and this one apparently is growing, but who even believes these days? Because this has just, it has stayed like this for probably like half a year, realistically. Half a year, nothing. Then we have, but I have seen a pattern these hostatums has just not worked the best for me. I don't know why, because they used to grow very good, but now it's just not anymore. Well, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Okay, in the back here we have... Oh, that's interesting. That shouldn't happen. Oh, this is a little orange... No, a little pink princess. I can see the pink. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. I am aware that it's not really pink but it's it's there it's there then we have two melanochrysums that are just like this this one is in leca and this one is in pot in pot this one is in a soil and i don't know if this is rotted or not i don't know we'll see when i don't know what happens anyways i need to put this back inside and now we're gonna go to the top part which is so pretty so this is the look Pretty, I know. Now we're gonna have to zoom in. Wait, no, never mind. Zoom out. Okay, we're gonna start in the front with this incredible <gasps> asparagus fern. Oh my god. 
because this has grown from like nothing like this is so big this is the biggest i have ever had like a an asparagus fern to grow but like look at how many stages this has like eh, you know how asparagus like it's so cute and like on the bottom just roots this is a tiny pot look at this this is not like compared to the pot this would have to be repotted but it's not so let's take this outside for a second because i'm gonna have to put it back inside damn it's big oh my god anyways we have an ethereum crystallinum with a new leaf right oh 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 well <laughs> a new leaf super excited because i think it's matured enough wow i think it's matured because in here there's like another growth point that's really cool okay this one outside for a second another anterior that i have is this this has not grown a single leaf for me yet, but this is Anterium Silver or Doriaki. Um, honestly, a pretty cute plant, but just hasn't really grown for me yet, so I, I can't tell you anything about it. Really. Okay, this is very fun. Um, first of all, we have 23 degrees Celsius in here right now. This is my Velvet Monstera. I always forget the name, but it's a little bit dehydrated, but I watered it yesterday, so it should be fine. Ethereum Regal. Wow. Now, I don't know why this happened. You can see that it's gone like, like this instead of just being like, it's, it's like this. It's supposed to be like this. I don't know. Anyways, as we all can see, very pretty. It's gone a little bit yellow. Not oh oh i haven't seen this <gasps> this is growing a new leaf whoa oh i haven't seen this no but with roots this good honestly it should be growing a new leaf this is insane well i'm not touching this for sure wow another ethereum this is a variegated anterium andrianum now this had some past issues, so you're not going to see the variegation very well. But this leaf is variegated. Maybe you can see this little part on here. And this one, you can kind of see like this part up here. I have, a, I have a photo on my Instagram. You should go follow me because I post things like this. Really, really cool uh, when it's growing, <laughs> but now it's not really the best. Then we have my most rarest kind of plant is this monstera green on green sport variegated so can you see the very yeah there's like a little speck right here and then the smaller leaf also has some specks you can't really see it well but i promise you there's variegation and i promise you when i look at it like this i can see more than just a little speck and i saw it on all the leaves before this that are now gone but we have a little roots starting to come in i have separated this not so long ago and we have a new leaf on this which is a little bit mutated look look at this, this little line but it i don't see variegation but i do know that variegation will come in later if it does and maybe there's just no variegation on this leaf but i'm pretty sure that this will continue giving me variegated leaves because oh my god so that's cool Another one in the back. So now we have all on like little poles and stuff. So first we're gonna show you this. This one is a very cute one. Why is this still dehydrated? I literally just watered this yesterday. Oh, it's dry again. <gasps> Stop. I just watered this yesterday. But this is Epipremnum natum Cebu Blue. Very pretty plant and it's starting to give little holes in the leaves. Can you see anything? Yeah, a little bit. Love the plant. It's grown a lot of roots in the moss, but I have to water it again, I see. Really fun to own this. Then we have the mother plant of the one that I showed you before. This is why I need to cut down my plants because this is like a little palm, right? This, no leaves. And then, <laughs> this is so funny, but honestly, so this is kind of leaves starting to mature a little bit these are not fully mature yet don't get me wrong this can get much bigger but can you just take a look at these like 
roots everywhere just these aerials this is so funny to me <laughs> okay but i have to chop this up give it a new moss extension so i can get it growing even bigger next year then we have a lovely snow queen pothos oh this one has green now it's always been very very light i'm gonna cover my face it's always been very very light as you can see on these leaves there's like not really green it's very light but this is why it's been growing so slowly i've had this for like two years and this was a cutting a little cutting i've had this for two years maybe it's worth the wait right let's put this back inside then we have this is a monstera siltipicana and el choco red philodendron on this huge moss ball and then we take it up and all these roots just show up randomly that's amazing but we'll see how that goes grows whatever not my favorites from this entire bunch oh, this is so funny i'm gonna show you later anyways the last plant i have for you is this philodendron oh philodendron green congo oh i repotted this not so long ago and i also cut it up so now we have a bunch of growth points starting but we can see this is like this is some crazy ah uh, stop card fool excuse me i need to empty my card i'll be back i guess it has been about 20 minutes what i wanted to say is this is my green congo and this plant i have had since last summer so this has been over a year now but take a look at all of these i have repotted it since and look at all of these roots that have grown this is crazy so some of the older leaves are starting to be kind of yellow kind of ugly you know not really the best on camera they actually look decent but in real life not really can you look look like like this it looks okay but it's not real none of it was real it was all an illusion but we have new growth points on here with some baby little leaves this is so cute so i do have to water this but let's get this right where it belongs this is gonna be a little bit hard to transfer oh i forgot one last thing one last thing in here is a health dead orchid that i have just laying around here honestly i'm kind of waiting for this to die realistically like i'm so sorry but it's just not you know orchids and me we're just not besties so this is it from this greenhouse that's <laughs> let's put everything back in place